Israel is a small country in the southwest of Asia near the Mediterranean Sea. The state of Israel was established in 1948. The Jew people who had long suffered displacement have brought about the development of this country on the strength of their unity. Now let us study about extent and boundaries. The extent of this country is from 29 degrees 30 minutes north to 33 degrees 15 minutes north latitudes and from 34 degrees 17 minutes east to 35 degrees 41 minutes east longitudes. Lebanon is to the north of Israel, Syria to the northeast and Jordan to the east and Egypt to the southwest. The Mediterranean Sea is to the west of this country and the Gulf of Aqaba to its south. Physical Divisions In Israel, we see four main physical divisions. The Western Coastal Strip, the Central Hilly Region, Rift Valley and the Southern Desert. See the figure shown. The Western Coastal Strip is extremely narrow. The northern and central parts are at a higher altitude. The Galilee Hills from the highest region in Israel. The peak Mount Meron is 1208 meters above sea level. A part of the deepest rift valley in the world rift valley in Israel extends from its northern boundary to the Gulf of Aqaba in the south. The Dead Sea with the highest salinity in the world lies in this region. The Rift Valley is the deepest at Sidom, which is to the south of the Dead Sea. The Negev Desert lies in the southern part of Israel. This huge desert is triangular in shape and it extends from Beersheba city to the coast of the Gulf of Aqaba. Let us study about the climate. As Israel is in the desert region, the temperature is high in summer and the climate is dry. Hot and dry winds blow in summer. They are called Khamsin winds here. These winds cause sandstorms. Winds blowing from the Mediterranean Sea make the climate of the western coastline mild. The temperature is normally high in the valley of the Jordan River and Negev Desert which are away from the sea coast. The climate in winter is cool and pleasant. Sometimes there is snowfall in the higher parts of the Galilee mountain. As this country lies in the Mediterranean climate region, it rains mainly in winter here. Its duration is generally from October to March. The average annual rainfall is 530 millimeters. The rainfall goes on decreasing generally from the west to east and towards south. The annual rainfall in the Galilee mountainous region is about 1120 millimeters. The rainfall is as little as around 30 millimeters in the southern part of the Dead Sea. Vegetation there are no dense forests here because of adverse factors like low rainfall, scarcity of water and a sandy soil. Thorny trees like acacia or babool which are found in desert regions are found here. Date palms and flowering plants like crocus and tulip are also seen. Animals The animals found here are fox, hyena, deer, Wildcat, mongoose, etc. Cuckoo, lark, doves and pigeons from the desert region are some of the birds seen here. Let us learn more about occupations. Agriculture A characteristic method of agriculture is seen in Israel. The two types of agricultural settlement here are kibbutz and moshav. In a kibbutz, 
groups of people come together and practice farming on government land. The government meets their needs. In a moshav, small landholders come together and practice farming on a cooperative basis. Scarcity of water is the main environmental problem here. But the imaginative people of this country have found various effective measures for conservation of water. Some of the schemes implemented are artificial rain, drip irrigation, sprinkler irrigation. Almost all farming is based on irrigation. Crops taken here are vegetables, beet, cotton, etc. Irrigated farming of fruits such as lemon, jaffa, oranges, limes, grapes and various flowers has been developed. As machines are used here in agriculture, it saves manual labor and the production has also increased. Fisheries Fisheries have developed along the Mediterranean coast. Mining Potash, gypsum, phosphate are found on the coast of the Dead Sea. Copper is found near Ilat, mineral oil near the Gaza Strip and big deposits of phosphate are found near Negev. Mining based on this mineral wealth is also an occupation. Industries There are pharmaceutical, cosmetic, papers, tire making, etc. industries in this country. The energy required for these industries is generated in the country itself. Other factories include building of aeroplanes and their repairs, refining mineral oil, chemicals, steel, etc. Also, diamond cutting is a big industry here. Cities have grown very fast because of industrialization. Trade This country has industrial cities like Tel Aviv, the Mediterranean Sea coast has become important from the point of view of world trade. Israel carries on trade mainly with the United States of America, Belgium, the Netherlands and the United Kingdom. Israel imports ships, mineral oil, iron, chemicals, uncut diamonds, etc. and exports fruits, fruit juices, cut diamonds, textiles, honey, electrical gadgets, etc. Now let us study about transport. Within the country, roads are important for transport. Air and sea transport are also used. There are important ports like Haifa, Ilat and Tel Aviv in the country. Water resources. The Jordan River that flows along the Jordan-Israel boundary is important in this respect. The Galilee Lake in the north is the biggest freshwater lake in the country. Israel has succeeded in carrying water through pipes, canals and tunnels up to the Negev Desert to the south. This water is lifted with the help of pumps and supplied to various places. Therefore, this country has become self-sufficient with respect to water, though it lies in a desert region. Human life People who live in this country are Jew, Arab, Baha'i and others. This is a land where many religions have emerged. Though the main language of the country is Hebrew, the government uses Hebrew, Arabic and English as official languages. Most of the Jews have settled in cities. Badauns, people from a nomadic tribe, are seen in rural areas. Now, let us gather information about tourist and important cities. Many tourists visit this country, especially to see the agriculture-related experiments. Jerusalem, it is the capital of Israel. This city is situated on the Judea Hills. There are many religious places here. The Hebrew International University is in this city. Tel Aviv, this modern city, is situated on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. 
This is the main trading center. There are many factories, agricultural institutions, banks and publishing houses in this city. Haifa, this city is situated on the slope of Mount Carmel on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. Streets in the city are lined with trees, gardens and pine forests on both the sides. This is the main port abounding in natural beauty. Ilat, this is the only port on the Gulf of Aqaba to the south. Trade with countries in the region of the Indian Ocean has become easier because of this port.